this really is a terrible time of day to be doing anything. I don't know what we were thinking at all. And then on top of that, we had to infiltrate the Aaron Express to be here. This is, I mean, these could not be poorer circumstances. So I just want to thank you guys for actually braving these and, and getting in here. Thank you guys so much. Tim, I feel like a real fucking dickhead because I accidentally wore this with the Aaron Express happening right yeah, now. Yeah, good story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, dude. I actually, I actually, walking in, I mean, just watching all those bloated sluts take up all that sidewalk <laughs> space <laughs> made me irrationally angry. Dude, it is the Million Retard March. Oh, well, I want to welcome our guests, by the way. Uh, David James, a friend of the show, and uh, the esteemed star of Holly and the Hot Chocolate, Steve Gerb. <laughs> Steve Gerben. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. Uh, I mean, just sorry about everything. <laughs> um, I actually had the idea. So when you see, you ever see like missing, per well, I don't know how Philly you guys are, but you ever see like missing persons posts on Facebook and you're just like, oh, they're not actually missing. They just came into the city to party one time and ended up addicted to heroin. <laughs> So I was looking, I'm walking around looking at these fucking idiots going like, if I kind of attached myself to one of these groups and I kind of hung around till like the bars closed later and I was like, you want to keep partying? I took them back to Kensington with me. I could, I could probably kill one of these guys. I mean, slowly over the course of however long it takes them to die from malnutrition under the train, but it would still count as killing. I don't know. That's my idea for tonight. <laughs> Now listen, I give David a lot of credit for coming out tonight because uh, he's got a little tummy bug right now. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's had diarrhea and has been throwing up all day, but yeah. this, is, this is his Jordan flu podcast. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally ate mayonnaise, and uh, <laughs> my black body just rejected it. <laughs> Steve, what's yeah. your black body been rejecting these days? <laughs> I, I don't have anything good for that. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, everything. No, yeah. Buddy, I'm so happy to see Everybody's you. Gonna, uh, by the way, I, I'm a little out of practice, so... Well, you <laughs> with me. You want a couple of test swings? No, I don't. I'll no? You're out of practice of being around other people. No, I wouldn't say that, but like... I mean, in, in numbers. Front of other, what? Yeah, in numbers. Yeah. 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 Oh. I, I, no, yeah. I just agreed with you, and I don't agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of practice... Being on a stage with a microphone. Dude, forget about these people. They're seriously not even real. <laughs> well, also, like, dude, the, the bank that, like, Google uses just shut down unexpectedly yesterday. The world is over, like, <laughs> three, four days from now. Dude, none of this matters. Does that make you feel better? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I could, I, all right, I, I could see how that would actually kind of stress you out worse, <laughs> but, like... I don't know, man, dude. It's time to pose for the fucking splash cam on the log flume right now. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> Thank you for having me for sure. So. Yeah. Steve, how yeah. often have you gotten notice from the movie since it came out? <laughs> uh, from Holly and the Hot Chocolate? I can't. I no, your other Harry movie Potter. from Avatar 3. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't. Well, I can't go into the Hallmark store anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you ask which movie? <laughs> well, because I got asshole. noticed at the YMCA a few times. Hell yeah. Okay. In the locker room or, <laughs> or, or oh, stuck just... under the squat rack? <laughs> yeah. That's very no, cute. we're talking about Medea goes to the arthritis doctor. That movie. <laughs> Way to humble brag you go to the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice Y, first of all. <laughs> My girlfriend's in the audience. She can attest to it. <laughs> Um, Where's she at? Has she, I want to ask about your no, sexual you don't performance. Wanna, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> Why don't you guys mill about and then all, you know, and then. Okay. Yeah, you got chicken fingers, man. Enjoy them. Yeah. I mean, in my head, I went, I'll bring this out. It'll be like we're all sharing a meal. But no. now it's just 4.30 p.m. chicken fingers in front of an audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ideal. Steve, I am really happy to see you. Like, Steve and I. We, we started spending more time together when we got into jujitsu, and Tim and I used to go over Steve's house, and we used to wrestle in Steve's living room. Yeah, I won every time. <laughs> it was great. It was like uh, two mats put together mm -hmm. in a place that you wouldn't think that you could do jujitsu, and you probably shouldn't. In a but basement apartment in Northern Liberties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I loved it. Honestly, I did dude, too, man. Yeah. In the, the mental image I have is Steve sitting in a kitchen chair 
while me and Mike kind of tussled. And it's just the most perverted. Yeah. If I could hire a, a painter, to, if I could commission a painting of this, Steve would be like kind of like a weird, like half crippled Shao Kahn <laughs> standing over me and Mike, just, I mean, just grossly fumbling over each other like two virgins. <laughs> By the time of my life, it was the best. Well, do you remember when you threw, I think it was like a flying scissor on Mike and <laughs> tapped him out in that way that Mike was pouting for like... No, minutes? it was whatever, whatever move puts your shin under my throat. You tapped out from a lesbian move? It was only getting... <laughs> 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 yeah, once Tim got that haircut, he learned the entire lesbian jiu-jitsu repertoire. <laughs> yeah, once you standing 69'd me, I just knew it was over for me. I could feel the lights going out. <laughs> no, that was a great time. Yeah, I had a blast. Oh, dude, I didn't tell you this. So last night, I, I took my son to his basketball game. After the game, we always go to Wawa. And then like 10 minutes after I got home, Tim called me. He was on his way to a show. He just wanted to talk. I didn't tell you this because I wanted to save this for today. Ooh. But when we were at Wawa, I saw your wigger brother there. He who fucking shouldn't be named? <laughs> no way. Dude, I didn't believe it was real. Now, quick backstory to that. So I always think I'm being tricked by things related to you on Facebook. Like I told you before, when I first saw Graham Butterly, the sweetest woman on the face of the earth, appear on Facebook, I was convinced that it was a trick being played by you and your sister. That is so funny that you thought I made up my grandmother. <laughs> I'm glad you stopped short because she would post very, very sweet things on Facebook. She would post on my wall. Actually, I've been this retarded around my family my entire life. So she never batted an eye when I'd post shit like, damn, dude, fucking my shoes are full of cum again. I'm going to be late for work. <laughs> She'd be like, well, I hope you have a ride. Love, Graham. <laughs> so I'm glad you stopped short of just being like, yeah, right, give up the act, faggot, on my grandmother's <laughs> Facebook wall. Dude, I was very close to typing that. But I was convinced that, like, that Graham was just... A made-up creation by Tim and his sister, who was equally as smart and as funny as Tim is. And I felt the same, well. too. <laughs> and I felt the same, too, with your wigger brother, because it's like, I see pictures, and I'm just like, there's no way. <laughs> but then I saw him, and like I, I, I knew it was him. It's like, without even meeting him before, I just knew it was him. And then as I waited for my sandwich, I watched him stare at candy bars for 15 minutes. <laughs> Does that sound like that's him? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Here's the thing. You got to remember that addicts are addicted to sweet treats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're paying for candy bars with EBT. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yo, what, I mean, this Butterfinger has to last if I put this out right. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm glad it seems like everything I come from seems invented by me. <laughs> As someone with like a, almost a problem with psychedelics, I can't tell you how troubling it is to consider <laughs> that maybe I have made all of them up. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this he was the last one that I think was made up because I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on the rest of your family now and they're real they're definitely real I ran out of juice by the time I made him up I was like yeah just give him fucking give him a shape up and a fucking ankle monitor and <laughs> what I just whatever you put on wiggers dude fine dude <laughs> yeah, you should ask him to come to the show we could have reconnected Oh, man. It probably, well, depending on which one it is, because there are two, it, one of them, it's yeah, on what, site to the death. You have two Wigger brothers? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're I, not uh, twins? Uh, I don't even know how old they are. Yeah, Twi they're twins. They're not Twiggers? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, on the sonogram, they're both in there doing the fighting Irish pose. <laughs> <laughs> they do that, like, 3D ultrasound thing, and it's both just like... They had to be cesarean born. Shout out, born. mommy's OBGYN. <laughs> they had to be cesarean born because they came out with backward hats. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, did you ever have a wigger phase? Oh, a wigger phase? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love the innocence in your eyes when you said that. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I thought you were going to... Do you think I, I'm not still a wigger? <laughs> I didn't know how the sentence was going to end. I thought it was like a weird brother. I'd be like, no. Uh, and then when you said phase, I was I had to open up the file cabinet and start going through all my regrettable phases. Uh, no. Was one of your regrettable phases the one where the cat was like licking your mouth? <laughs> 
No, no. You don't. No. You don't regret your sensual cat owner phase. I'm not retelling that. If, if, no, is anybody uh, familiar I mean, with the story? It wasn't like I coaxed the cat to do this. It was I don't a know. training program to desensitize the cat to humans that didn't attack her. It's a whole thing. You can look it up on YouTube. But if you no, don't, yeah, it it's on phase. YouTube. It's worth looking up. But the gist is, at night, Steve would dress like a minion and oh, make out with his cat. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> And it was supposed to, like, make the cat relax or something like that. <laughs> so, in other words, you were grooming this animal. I adopted a cat who was, uh, she attacked humans a lot that I didn't know. Does anybody, did anybody know this story? Do, am I, there's a, I can't get a read off of this audience. It's too quiet. Every time I tell you, you know. Just oh, tell the story. We want to hear it. Wow, it Just sounds like the, the floor is yours, Steve. All right, yeah. well, it's been a long time. You don't know what it, 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 this is. It's just you go to a, a fucking place, and then someone's like, "Hey, this thing from ten years," and you're like, oh, "What the fuck? Can't, what's, isn't the See, weather you're, crazy?" You're cool. you're, no, the statute of limitations has passed. You can't be charged <laughs> anymore. Yeah. So go ahead, you Cosby so the cat. So I. What did I say? What'd you say? <laughs> I'm gonna. We got an hour and a half. To, what'd you say? Story time. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So I uh, lived in Northern Liberties at the time, and then I had a mouse infestation in this apartment, so I, I thought I'd get a cat. And I figured it would be more like, you know, a symbiotic. Tom and Jerry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it would just be this, you know, where the cat did the, you know. She was attacking people. She was running into painted mouse holes in the wall. <laughs> So I went to the uh, place where you could adopt a cat, and I w my aunt had told me you just want a female with claws. So that's what I told them, and there was a cat there, Addie, and I like pet her briefly, and she see so I was like, let's take this one. And they're like, why don't you spend some more time with her? And I was like, oh, this is good. And so they did the background check. They on you or the cat? On me. <laughs> <laughs> and they kept telling me, like, come back, spend some time with her. I didn't. I came to pick her up, and one of the girls was like, yay, somebody's finally coming to take Addie. And I was like, what? And then when they went to put her in the, the transport case, she was like, ah! And just like attacked the shit out of this guy. Yeah, no shit, because the cat's named after Adderall. You didn't see that coming down the pipe, dude? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Make her snort this three times a day for the first couple weeks. <laughs> So I, uh, so she was a vicious cat, and anytime you go to pet her, she would just attack you. Uh, so I watched these videos from Jackson Galaxy, who's like a cat whisperer. <laughs> He's a cat pickup artist, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a whole thing where I had to go in like <laughs> sing to her. His name is Jackson Galaxy. Oh, dude. I'm sure it's he. Yes. Do you guys know yeah. about Jackson Galaxy? The he cat guy or the stripper? <laughs> <laughs> He carries around, I think it's a guitar case full of all of his cat tools. Yeah. And he tre he's trying to be the Guy Fieri of cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fully endorsing this character. I, I, it, it just, I needed, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, and at that point I was working on the Saudi Arabia talk, so I kept giving the Saudi Arabia talk to, to my cat. And then, uh... <laughs> you wonder why your cat's attacking people. Yeah, yeah. Your cat was in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> <laughs> there was grown men fist fighting on the floor in front of her. You're reading Saudi anti-propaganda yes, at her. Yes, anti the cat's cutting off birds' heads <laughs> while he's doing his presentation. Maybe it was a Jewish cat. I can't process that joke. I don't know what's that. I, can't, I, don't, I don't get so it. Let's talk on Saudi Arabia. Why would the cat be Jewish? I'm the one telling the cat... That's why that it's attacking people. Because you're talking about Saudi Arabia to it all day. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> this is going to make me believe. Um, I'm with Steve on that one. What's that? I'm with you on that one. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> idiot. We know oh, each really? other. Really? I'm an we idiot? We know each other. Really? <laughs> you had to call me to take your cat to the vet. And you didn't do it. Because you had to man up. You did, I did need to man up. <laughs> that was did true. Did you ask like, him because you were afraid to have the cat in the car with you? No, I was just stressed out. Like, I, so she ended up getting cancer. I had to put her down, and, and, and like, she is a not so story. tough now, are you? <laughs> what happened? I said not so tough now. Oh right? yeah. What? I don't get anything. All right. She kind of deserved it. Oh, the cat's not so tough. Yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> Steve, were you man enough to bring the cat to her cancer treatments? <laughs> poor... Chemotherapy. <laughs> yes. This poor cat's walking through the vet office. He's pawing at the bell. All the nurses line up for it. That's funny. I'm sorry, but go ahead, buddy. You're making me feel terrible. You want me to cry? No, I'll cry. No, 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 no. Mike, so, he's telling the story of his cat dying of leukemia. I, <laughs> and you're being an insensitive jerk off. Well, Tim, I, do you think well, that, <laughs> actually, so, Tim, do you think it's fair to say that the, the cat went to heaven, hell, or purgatory? Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> 